Okay, so I just grabbed this bangle and I didn't have it flat, so I went ahead and took my plier and bent it. So you can see right here, I flattened out this spot and a little bit of here, but just to give you an idea of how I'm gonna get inside here. So I am gonna grab, depending on how rough your surface is, you might get away with one of our Trizac wheels um, or our Scotch Brite, depending on how crisp you want those edges. Now I'm gonna show you two different scenarios. One using the disc and one using the Scotch Brite on a flex shaft using this flat side with the corners. So give me a second, I'll run through all of this for you. So this is how you would work. It's called a feathering technique where you would work right here. So like, look at, I'm at the angle and I'm gonna pull and stop, pull and stop. So I'm gonna keep doing that. So you kind of hold it here, just make sure you don't catch it under here. And you're just gonna pull and stop. So that's all. So I'm gonna turn it on at full speed. And you'll see, I'm gonna kind of tilt it, kind of get the angle you want. That corner and pull and go. You see that? And you can get a nice flat finish. Now, if you want to get those corners really sharp, hold it in one spot just like so and move. But it has to be done in a fluid motion. Do you see it's nice and flat? You can even go over here. Let's get that corner right here. Now, or if you want, you can use the Scotch Bright. If that's a little too aggressive, you can use your happy little Scotch Bright. Just keep the edges nice and crisp to do this. And again, you'll be able to I'll darken it one more time so you guys can see what I'm doing. This also might help just to grab like a Sharpie and to darken it a little. And again, you just hold it here at the corner and just move. It's got to be a nice, fluid, smooth motion. Hold that corner and pull. And there you go. See that nice, crisp edges? Now, again, if you want to polish it, same scenario. You're going to grab the felt wheel with my polishing compound. And I'll do the same process. And darken it to make sure I'm hitting the exact bevels I want. And again, get that nice flat polish. You see that? How it follows the light. No lumps and no bumps. So right here, you'll be able to get that nice flat polish. You see how it pops in the light? Now, for those ones that are really, really in there, I recommend taking the Scotch Bright, which is the same material as this one. Do you see that? So since it is flat, you can use the tip of this versus using the side because that's gonna be very difficult to get it flat. And so you'll be able to Get, let me turn it on to give you an idea. And so you would be able to, I'm not at my bench, but you get the idea. It's gonna be flat all the way across. And you can get it nice and flat. In this way, you can go straight to a polish. Do you see that? Very nice and flat. So you can go straight to the polish from here and the story really nice so and how do you polish i mean you can use i mean i have the knife edge felt you can get in there and polish i mean you get the idea at this point but i have a knife edge right here so it's really up to you what you want to use so i gave you two scenarios let me recap what i used i used this this and my felt. I used the Trizac, the Scotch Bright, 
and the felt, or you can use the Scotch-Prite using your flex shaft. Hello. Thank you.